What's up, y'all? It's Brennan Scarlett, and you are watching Dolphins Today. What's up, everyone? My name is Joanna. You are watching Dolphins Today. I'm here at the Baptist Health Studios in Miami Gardens. Well, your fins are gearing up to take on the Atlanta Falcons right here at home on Sunday. And our very own Travis Winfield is going to let us know what we should be expecting, what we should be preparing for, hoping for a W. But first, Travis, how are you doing? Yeah, hoping for a W for sure. That'd be great. But it'd be a great end to a great sports weekend. The Miami Heat season just opened yeah. up. Baseball playoffs, college football in full swing. Can't ask for much more than that as a sports fan. Great sports weekend for sure. Will the Dolphins get another opportunity to turn the season around this weekend? How do we do that? Well, yeah, you know, Coach Flores referenced a couple weeks ago the – idea of guys kind of taking turns making mistakes and that's improved a lot the last couple of weeks but it still needs to get better the offense moved the ball better than they have in a long time it was the fifth highest yardage total 431 yards since 2017 but some key penalties and drops and lack of general execution made those drives bog down and kick short field goals so finding ways to finish those drives and put it in the end zone that'd be a good key for this Dolphins team to get things turned around and get back in the winner's circle yes that's what we definitely want well it's switching gears just a little bit just a little bit a lot of our fans play fantasy football I'm not sure if you do but let's talk about it shall we which Dolphins players should we be looking out for as high scores this week in particular. Well, yeah, five and one for me, if you guys are wondering in the fantasy football realm, so things are going good there. But I'd go back to the hot hands. Mike Gesicki and Jalen Waddle both had a bunch of catches, a bunch of yards. They both scored touchdowns this season. So getting the football in the guys' hot hands, that's why I'd go back to Waddle and Gesicki. Okay, so Gesicki and Waddle, are those the two players that fans should try to pick up to bring their team to victory, or would you suggest somebody else? I'd go with the guy throwing the football to him. Tua Tunga Bailoa coming off 329 yard performance, two touchdowns, facing the 30 first rank scoring defense for those receivers to get open. So Tua Tunga Bailoa, put him in your lineup this week for your fantasy matchup. Sounds good. All right. Well, both teams have had a difficult start to the season. So what does this game mean for standings and morale? I think it's a big test of pride, right? I mean, both these teams trying to find their way back into the winner's circle. Uh, and this team can always hang their hat on their ability to to come in and work hard and prepare the right way. And that's something Brian Flores definitely likes to reiterate in his press conference and his message to the team. And to come in here and work that hard all week long and not get the results you want, I think a victory on Sunday would go a long way for this Dolphins team to know that the week worth of work really paid off for them in the end. And so getting that first win for the first time since week one, I think would go a long way for this team to recognize that all the hard work they put in pays off with a victory and no more disappointment on Sundays after a hard week's worth of work. Absolutely. Definitely hoping for a win this Sunday. Thank you so much, Travis. Well, this Sunday at the Hard Rock Stadium is also very special, and that's because the NFL's crucial catch mission is to fight cancer through early detection and risk reduction. The league, its clubs, the players, the NFL Player Association, and the American Cancer Society are committed to providing individuals with the tools they need to help them better understand early detection and ways to reduce their cancer risk. Here's Mac Hollins to tell us more. Cancer. It's a word no one ever wants to hear, whether it's a personal battle or that of a loved one. Everyone has some connection to the fight against cancer. The NFL's Crucial Catch is dedicated to this battle and the early detection that can save countless lives. Through this mission, the NFL, Miami Dolphins, and Dolphins Challenge Cancer are committed to equipping our communities by educating individuals and providing the necessary resources to catch cancer early and reduce risk. Today is a special opportunity to not only remember the legacies of those we've lost, but to also honor our brave survivors and uplift the warriors currently in their fight. Well, Raekwon Davis was mic'd up across the pond, so take a listen. Someone who's come out onto the field, they will stop play. The kick will be suspended. Oh, that's on the field? Get your man, yeah. Get your man. Oh, wow. Yeah, you tripping. They don't tackle them. They don't do nothing. Yeah, they don't do nothing here. They don't tackle them. Whoa, they, they dapping them up. Gun with Iloa. Downfield he goes. That's Gasicki, the tight end. Yeah! Let's go! 
is the newest fella to drop by the fish tank. Here's an exclusive sneak peek into their convo. Actually, uh, I became anxious during the game because I really didn't catch a pass until almost the end of the third quarter. So all the passes I caught happened at the end of the third quarter and the fourth quarter. So Crazy. during the game, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting anxious. I'm like, I'm not doing anything. I'm not contributing. I'm not, okay, is this how it's going to be? <laughs> Y'all need to throw me the ball. <laughs> right. <laughs> so now, you know, I've caught a couple of touchdown passes. Now it's fourth and five. And um, and I looked at the film, and thank God he threw it to me because the guys on the other side, they had triplets on the other side, the three of them, none of them got open. And if you look at the film, none it was of muddy them. muddy that three, day. It was muddy that day. <laughs> <laughs> none of them, it was. It was muddy. Well, you can listen to a new episode of the Fish Tank Podcast every Tuesday on your favorite streaming service and, of course, on WFOR every Saturday night at 7.30. Well, guys, that's a wrap from the Bathurst Health Studios. We'll see you right back here on Tuesday. Go Dolphins!